George and Jill. George and Jill, April 15, 1836, November 11, 1887, was a labor union activist executed. Early life. George Angel was born to an impoverished family with three other children. His father, Conrad, a mason and bricklayer, died when he was less than two years old. His mother died when he was twelve, leaving him an orphan. He lived for a short time with a foster family, but at the age of fourteen was forced to look for work. He was apprenticed to a shoemaker, but was unable to afford the dues. He traveled to Frankfurt and finally found work as a painter's apprentice. He traveled around Germany working, and in 1868 opened a business of his own. He married the same year, but found that the economic conditions in Germany made survival difficult, and so decided to follow his boyhood dream of emigrating to the United States. He left Germany in 1872, arriving first in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in January 1873, where he worked in a sugar refinery. In 1874, he left Philadelphia and moved to Chicago, Illinois, where he later, in 1876, was to open his own toy shop. Activism Working at a factory, Angel first became acquainted with socialism when one of his co-workers took him to a meeting of the International Workingmen's Association. He soon joined. In 1878, a crackdown on socialist organizations led to the dissolution of the IWA, but Angel was instrumental in forming another organization, the Socialistic Labor Party of North America. And finally, in 1882, he joined the new International Working People's Association. Haymarket Square On May 3, 1886, after hearing about the massacre at the McCormick plant earlier that day, he attended a meeting at Griefs Hall. This meeting, later dubbed by prosecutors the Monday Night Conspiracy, was used to prove that there was a conspiracy in the bombing at the Haymarket. A witness claimed that Angel had arranged a plan to storm and slash or dynamite police stations and shoot policemen should trouble occur. Angel claims it was a meeting only in which it was proposed to give aid to any strikers if the police or the Pinkertons should attack said strikers. The following night, May 4, as the bombing took place, Angel was not in Haymarket Square, but was at home playing cards. Nevertheless, he was arrested the next day and charged with conspiracy in the bombings. At 50, he was the oldest of the defendants to stand trial. He was convicted and was sentenced to be hanged. After hearing in 1887 that several letters had been written from Samuel Fielden, and Michael Schwab to Illinois Governor Richard James Oglesby, Angel wrote his own letter, asking the governor not to consider any clemency. Death Angel was hanged with three others of the condemned on November 11, 1887. His last words were, Hurray for anarchy, Angel was buried, in a plot marked since 1893 by the Haymarket Martyrs Monument, in the Waldheim Cemetery, now Forest Home Cemetery in Forest Park, Illinois,